most unusual and exciting tournaments we've ever held, the Bass Pro-Am, a first in Bass Angler Sportsman Society competition. You'll see 100 of the top pros in the country and 100 amateurs competing for $300,000 on what is regarded as the best big bass lake in the country, Lake Okeechobee. It's an exciting tournament, and for one angler, really exciting. He's going to win $100,000 in cash and awards. And I'm Ray Scott. You should stay tuned. The Bass Masters will be right back. There's one sure thing in bass country. The faster you get to the fish, the more time you can spend catching them. And nobody understands fast like Evan Root. We engineer performance into every outboard we make. No wonder Evan Root's first to the fish. In fact, the only way to catch one is at your Evan Root dealer. screen available. Hummingbird's new LCR 4x6. It maximizes your field of vision. A six inch wide screen for more information, plus split screen features, and just seven buttons for simple control with your adjustments clearly displayed on the screen. Advanced technology has never been easier to use. Of course, like all LCRs, it's completely automatic and completely waterproof. New from Hummingbird, the LCR 4x6. When the fishing gets rugged, you'd better have the right line that holds up. Strand from DuPont. It's made for the most grueling fishing conditions anywhere. Strand from DuPont. With strength that will survive all the nicks, scrapes, and shocks any fish can throw at you. Strand from DuPont. Your choice of lines with strength you can count on. Strand from DuPont. Lake Okeechobee, the huge Florida lake regarded by many fishermen as the finest bass fishery in the country. As competition begins this first day in the BASS Pro-Am, the professional anglers in the front of these sleek bass rigs are competing differently than they usually do on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail. These pros have total control of the boat, deciding where they want to fish, and they're not competing against their amateur boat partner. During regular pro tournaments, two anglers share the fishing decisions and compete against one another. In this tournament, the pro is not competing with his boat partner, but instead against the other pros. The amateurs who must fish from the back of the boat compete within their own division. The pros paid a $3,000 entry fee, and the winner will receive $100,000 in cash and awards. The amateurs paid $300, and the top-ranked backseater, after four days of competition, will win a fully rigged $17,000 Ranger bass boat. But what really makes this fishing trip different for the amateurs is that they're fishing with the top pros in the country. They like the tournament format, and so do the pros. Rick, I'm curious to know what you think about having a part in the back of the boat that uh, doesn't in any way dis discuss what's happening. You do the full day as far as planning and picking spots and so on. Uh, how do you like this concept? I don't think there's any concept that's any more that will that'll be ev that we have currently that'll ever be any more equal for everybody involved in the tournament. Uh, the only one other tournament that's this equal, and that's a classic. Uh, so for a guy gets to fish at his pace all day, he doesn't have to psychologically worry about his partner. You know, as far as his partner pulling him off the water at a key period or vice versa. And so I think uh, it, it may. It's going to help a lot of guys really fulfill their potential fishing-wise, I think, if they're allowed to fish at their pace. While this is a pro-am event, many of the backseat anglers are skilled fishermen in their own right. And it's obvious at this first day weigh-in that the amateurs can compete. 
at the end of the first day's competition. Missouri's Danny Brower, 1987 BASS Angler of the Year, leads the pro field with 21 pounds, 7 ounces. The time is early November. Some of the bass have started their move to shallow water in preparation for the spawn. But the majority of the bass are being caught in open water, over and around weed beds and vegetation lines like professional angler Roland Martin is fishing. Denny Brower caught fish today, but it's another angler who makes the big move. Look a here, look a here, folks. Ron Shuffield of Arkansas with a limited bass. What was your weight yesterday? I can't recall. 11 pounds, 15 ounces. 11, 15, folks. Watch these scale. This is a remarkable catch. 27 pounds, 2 ounces. I'm not going to the two big fish, right? We'll wait. You reach it, folks. I want you to watch him pull them out. Pull them out one at a time. Look at these fish. This is Okeechobee, folks. A God-made lake. Nothing in the world like it. We got other big bass to show. These are the two biggest. This will blow the roof off of this. He's the leader. You forget it. He's the leader in this tournament. All right, one at a time. Let's weigh the best way the biggest one first. What's this fish gonna weigh? I hope she weighs nine pounds. Oh uh, boy, I hope so too. It'll be a scotch light, but it won't miss much. By golly, look at it. Nine pounds, three ounces. Let's give him a hand. Nine three. Now let's move that one out. Nice and easy. And lay this one next one in here. She's a nice fish herself. Oh, my goodness. Six pounds, 12. I'm excited right now. You ought to be, man. You lead this tournament, and I want to congratulate you. You got two more days to hold the lead, though. Yeah, well, that's going to be tough to do, right, among these bunch of fishermen. I'd like to ask you one question. How far apart geographically were these two big bites you had, these two big bass? About 100 yards. May I ask where you're going to start tomorrow morning? I'm not going to start there in the morning, Ray. I'm going to fish it up in the day. The fish there that are biting, I don't think we're really biting very, very good early. Uh, the cloud cover that came in this afternoon is what made these big fish turn on for me today. Because uh, I didn't catch anything. You know, I had about a 12 or 13 pound limit before uh, the cloud cover moved in and I pulled in and uh, the big fish turned on. That's all I can say. No point in my asking what you caught the fish on. You wouldn't share that with me, would you? You don't uh, have to. No, I, I, I probably won't. Okay, well I won't ask you then. All right. Thank all you. right, let's have a nice hand, folks. Ron Shuffield, a great day. Spectacular day, one of the big catches of the tournament. Stay tuned. As the weather changes, the winds roar, and the BASS Pro-Am competition heads into the third day. The Bassmasters will be right back. My dad and I have owned Ford trucks for as long as I can remember. If somebody had told me uh, three months ago that I'd be driving a Chevy truck, well, I, I wouldn't have believed them. Well, I took a look at the, at the new Chevy truck, and they, they've totally redesigned the truck. And test drove it. That was enough to sell me on it. It's got the Vortec V6. It's got plenty of power. They've had tough competition from, from Ford, and they've, they've, uh, they've beat them. The heartbeat of America, that's today's Chevy truck. Chevrolet's done their homework on this truck. Well, Sophie, we're going to do all right with my new Remington 1187. See, now we can shoot light field loads and three-inch magnums back-to-back, -back, and I don't have to change a thing. That should help us get a few ducks in the freezer. Okay, girl? Now, let's say you and I kick up some pheasants over at Johnson's place. Why, I can even get another barrel for deer. Of course, you got to stay home on that trip, Sophie. Basting is a great thrill, and part of the fun is getting ready to go. The Bass Angler Sportsman Society wants you to be the best bass fisherman you can be. So join our society and receive lots of exclusive member benefits, like your own subscription to Bassmaster Magazine. You get 10 big issues a year, each packed with great tips on how to and where to catch bass. Plus, you'll get a membership packet with your own membership card, a decal, a handbook, and a handsome and broad pack. So join now, and we'll send you this TV offer, a big bonus tackle pack filled with a spool of string line, man's new manipulator lure, a bass spinnerbait, and a supply of true turn brood hooks. And listen, there's more. If you phone now, you'll also get a free copy of Jackpot Bassin, a total value of $9.95. And all of this is yours free with your $15 paid membership. So call right now. Grab the phone, 1-800-543-1300. That's toll free, one 800 
Although Arkansas pro Ron Chuffield holds more than a seven-pound lead heading into the third round, that's not really a comfortable margin on Lake Okeechobee, a place where five- and six-pound bass don't even make the papers. Chuffield is fishing crankbaits, plastic worms, and spinnerbaits in an area called the West Wall, less than a 10-minute run from the takeoff area at Roland Martins Marina in Clewiston, Florida. And the wind is up. Denny Brower, now in second place, faces the same conditions a few miles down the lake, as does George Cochran, the 1987 Bassmasters Classic World Champion. While many anglers believe fishing from the front of the boat is an asset, it can be just the opposite when boat control is a problem. And sometimes it's better from the back, even when anchored. Roland Martin, folks, with a limited bass. Now, Roland, you are in uh, what position? Roland's in 10th uh, place, place with 26 pounds and change. And the weight today, 12 pounds and 2 ounces, Roland. Now, how'd your partner do? Well, he has a big one, about 6 or 7 pounds, and one about 3 pounds. I imagine he has 13 or so pounds. He has 5 fish. But you know, you used to guide years and years and years ago, and it appeared apparently you did that today. Well, no, actually, I was trying to catch every fish I could. I, I, I would rather have caught those fish. I, <laughs> the way I anchored, I, I don't mean to be detrimental to my partner, but I anchored so that I could have the best shot, you know. <laughs> he, uh, You're not famous for lying, are you? Well, he, he had about a crummy shot, but he, even even then, he caught the biggest fish. Let's get him up here. Won't you stand here? Let's wait and see what this mar man of marvels does. We're looking here to Charlie uh, Hughes of Mississippi with five bass for the back of the boat. Look at his blind side. Charlie, watch the creel here. 13 pounds and 10 ounces, folks. Let's give him a great hand. That is one more beautiful catch. Pull out the big bass here. Let's show it to Roland. And I want you to reach it in and get that fish out. Roland, get a good look at this fish. And uh, I, I, I don't know, but I figured that fish would have put me in about third place. Well, if I'd caught it. Yeah, if you'd have caught it. Well, what was your, what was your first word when this bass came aboard? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first word when you put that bass? Golly, Roland, I wish you'd caught this. I couldn't say anything. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Day three is history as Ron Sheffield weighs in 11 pounds, 14 ounces, and stays on top. But his lead shrinks as George Cochran brings 13 pounds, 14 ounces to the scales. He's only 5 pounds, 11 ounces behind Shuffield. Stay tuned for the final countdown when once again, weather plays a role. And one bass angler makes a last-minute charge for the gold. The Bassmasters will be right back. Fish these crankbaits right, cast them long, crank them slow and keep them deep. Fish the new Quantum Cranking Reel with super size, super strong Magnum gears and 3.8 to 1 retrieve power. Keeps your forearm from wearing down, keeps the deep diving crankbait where it belongs. In the fish, fish this baby right. Fish the 381 Cranking Reel. It's pure Quantum Cranking Power by Zepco. Doug Robinson is having an asthma attack. My lungs are tight. I didn't have enough air. I couldn't blow it out. For occasional attacks, try Primatine Mist. In as fast as 15 seconds, Primatine restores free breathing. Primatine, because asthmatics can't take breathing for granted. No matter what sport America likes, Kmart's the place America looks. For Plano 707 two-door or 1304 Phantom Family Pack tackle boxes. The Kmart Sports Center. Where to go when you go out for sports. Chevy S10 invites you to own the street with the biggest engine ever offered in a compact pickup. The most V6 power and torque available in a compact truck. And a price to make your heart beat faster than ever. final round. And for one Bassmaster here, it's going to be a $100,000 payday. Ron Shuffield is back at home in his favorite spot on Lake Okeechobee's west wall, just minutes from the weigh-in site. His lead has shrunk. Shuffield must have bass to realize his first ever BASS win. He can't make many mistakes if he's to do it. This one fish could make the difference. 
weigh-in scales will tell the tale. Gary Klein at Texas, folks, six bass, a great pro. I was in 20th. 20th place, folks, and I want to tell you, he has moved up in the world. Watch the scale for Gary Klein. 22 pounds, four ounces, and we got another incredible bunch of fish. Here's a man who also went for broke. Folks, watch this big one come out here. Oh, my gosh. Got to be the biggest bass of the tournament. Got to be. Let's hope. Let's weigh, his, weigh the big bass. Bring those fish back some, if you don't mind. I want to weigh the others, too. This is, remember, the big bass of the tournament. Nine pounds and three ounces, and the scale is loose. Watch it. Nine pounds, seven ounces, a new record for the tournament. Thank you, Rick. And Gary Klein's amateur partner makes his move. Now, his partner from the great state of Alabama, Joe Bragg. What position were you in with the amateurs yesterday? Seven. Seventh place. In the day, look at the scales, folks. 16 pounds, six ounces. This puts him in the lead among those non-pros. Congratulations to you. All right. What was it like fishing with that character? You ever seen a machine like him in your life? Uh, right. It, he's, he's energy in motion. You know, no waste of time. Everything is uh, like it ought to be. It's like the book says it ought to be. And that guy from California knows how to fish Florida water. I'm telling you. Well, you didn't do bad yourself. Take your large one out. Let's get a picture of this one here. You got one fish just fishing trash and picked yeah. up scraps. That's right. Look at trash water. Trash water. Now, folks, this is what it's about. This is. This is what it's all about. I tell you, I play golf, too, but, you know, it ain't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give a good hand, folks. Congratulations to you, Mr. Bragg. And now the Pro Division leader. Now, folks, Ron Shuffield, our leader, with 50 pounds and 13 ounces, and he had a, uh, the weight of the world on him, seven bass, one deceased, which means that whatever weight comes off this scale, there will be a, there will be a reduction of two ounces because of the unfortunate death of one of his fish. He's got to have seven pounds, seven. Got to have seven pounds, seven ounces to take the lead and watch the scales. Nine pounds, 14 ounces, and that puts him back in there. Boy, I tell you what, Ray, I was really worrying today. I thought I'd let this tournament slip right out of my fingers. I lost a shot at at least 13 pounds of bass today trying to pull him over the side of the boat. I just too excited and too much of a hurry, but I hope it holds up now. There's still some tremendous fish out there waiting to come in right now and, and uh, Gary Klein proves uh, how easy it can happen. I've been here before so I hope that I hope it holds up. Well this is going to give you at the moment you still have about a two pound lead am I correct Bob Cobb? Sweat it out my friend. I'm going to be sweating it you can bet on that Ray. All right we'll be hoping for you. Tell us briefly uh, if you would uh, Ron Shuffield about your technique. What were you doing that was a little different than you usually use as a technique? Well, I, I don't think I've done a lot differently. What I did was uh, took a Bill Lewis rattle trap in uh, three different colors, and I just kind of alternated it in one area. I didn't burn 10 gallons of gas probably this entire tournament. I fished right out here on the west wall the whole, the whole time. And two days ago when the cloud cover moved in, uh, I moved in because I seen some fish go to breaking in on the edge of the grass, so I picked up a white and shot the number five willow leaf, and I caught that 612 on it. And missed another fish, so I took the worm and pitched back in there, and I caught her, and it was the 9-3. And I think the 10, 15 minutes later, I caught another one to go close to 5, and that was over in 30 minutes, and that's about all I did. That 30 minutes was worth $100,000 to you if you lead holes. If I win, that 30 minutes won the tournament for me. And the last round charge. Is it enough? Now, folks, here is a man, Larry Lazarin. I want to take a quick look. Larry, what position were you in? Sixth place. Nice and easy. Folks, let's remember. This catch here could make the difference in several thousands of dollars. And he's in sixth place, and lots of the boys just ahead of him have stumbled, and including Ron Shuffield, who dropped some. Cochran fell out. Bruce is in trouble. And next comes this man, Larry Lazarne, and we'll watch the scales. Bingo. 21 pounds, three ounces. Mark it. 21 pounds, three ounces. Oof. Grab, grab a two big Get two or three bigger. I'll grab one or two. Buddy, that is what I call bass fishing professional style. He's, a, he's in second place. This moves him into second place. How much is he out of, out of the lead? Off the winner? One pound off the lead with these fish today. 
That's how much he missed, $100,000. One pound. That's why he has this expression on his face. You got there, I lost a giant fish today, and I, and I lost another one probably five pounds, and I lost a real giant. And that's, that's, that's what happens. You can't afford to lose one in a tournament like this, and I knew it cost me. Well, listen, my friend, put those babies in this, and I want a quick, brief... Do you realize if the tournament's over at the moment, and it's almost over, if you have moved up within one pound of the leader, Ron Shuffield, even, even one of the smaller bass in there when you didn't have many, just weighing one pound more could have meant $100,000. Yeah, but uh, I had a skinny mini in there, and it didn't, just didn't carry me. How many did you call today? I've called every day, and, and uh, my first day was the worst day I had. I think I had 11 pounds, and uh, I just didn't get the big fish bite the first day, and uh, I called probably two limits today. It's a great day. Folks, let's give them a good hand. It's a great sport. And we have two winners. First, the amateur division. I think this is a very important moment, and oh, I'd like a ref just some reflection from you as to what it feels like to, to win this affair. Well, it's unreal. It's like when they say, pinch me, you know, when you know, wake up, but... Uh, I've realized it is real. It's a, it's an experience of my lifetime. It's the biggest thing ever happened in my lifetime. And uh, you got a great thing going with the Pro-Am Tournament. I've enjoyed every minute of it with every guy that I fished with. They, uh, well, I, you know, I follow that magazine, we ever, we ever word in it every month, and then to be a part of it is uh, it's a dream. Well, I hope it happens to you again. You deserve it. Let's give him a nice hand, folks. We appreciate it. Congratulations to you. Now the professional champion. He has a weight today of 60 pounds and nine ounces collectively for the four days. A check for $80,000 cash, plus a beautifully rigged Ranger boat. Let's have a nice welcome, Ron Sheffield. That's what it's all about, right, right there. That's what I hold up over here, huh? Folks, let's have a hand for the television as well. Come on. Ron Sheffield, our winner. Ron, this check for, for $80,000 will go a long way in getting you back home. Are all the zeros there real? <laughs> I thank the good Lord for this victory. I tell you what, Ray, this is something that three years ago, I borrowed the money from my parents to start fishing your circuit. I lost my job about five years ago. I'd read about the Rick Clunes and the Larry Nixons, the heroes of this sport, what it's all about. And this is what it's all about. I was able to do, be successful enough with the help of Forest Town of Wood and Ranger Boat Company to fulfill a dream that I've dreamed about for years and years, which other than reading about it, this is as close as, you know, that was as close as I'd ever get was reading about it. And now I'm standing on the winner's platform. You just don't know what this means to me in my career. Let's have a nice hand, folks. I think that says it all. Nice hand. Ron Shuffield, congratulations to you. Thank you, Ray. God bless you, boy. Appreciate it. Now it's time for the Pro's Pointer, the how-to section of the Bassmasters, brought to you by A.C. Delco. Hi, I'm Charlie Ingram, and I fish a lot of tournaments. In order to fish tournaments successfully, I think you've got to learn how to flip. One thing that I do when I flip, I always peg my sinker. Most people do this with a toothpick, and I've always been worried about that pinch in my line. So if you remember, you've seen these old sinkers that's got the rubber in the middle of them, and what I do is take a rubber band like this and break it in half and take a piece of line about this long, and I tie the two together. And what that does keeps the line from being pinched. I've always thought that if you used a toothpick that, you know, sometime during the day it might cost you a fish, and Lord, we don't need it to cost us a fish when we're fishing tournaments. So what I do is put it together like this and just pull it up there snug and tie the two together like so, and then take that and run the line through the sinker like this, pull the rubber band up to the sinker, and then just pull it through, all right? You see what we're doing here? We're just pulling it through till we get, a, till we get it about oh, midways through or something like that. And we've got it sticking through both ends. Then what I do is take it and stretch it across my knuckles like this. And once I get it, once I get it stretched across my knuckles, then it allows me to, to uh, put my 25-pound test line through there with the rubber band already in place. Then I turn it loose 
and see it's already got it held then i take a pair of clippers and i clip each end of the rubber band off like that on this end and then clip it off on the other end just where it sticks out just a little bit on each end not very much at all this takes a little time to do but i think it's worth it if you do it tonight before you're fishing a tournament, you fix two rods like this, and I don't think you'll have to do it the rest of the day. And then what I do is I'll tie my hook on. Anytime that you break off during the day, all you gotta do is just slip this sinker up the line a little bit, and break off a little bit of line, and then retie. All right, and then you just slide the sinker down on the hook like this. And what you got is a very secure way to peg the sinker without having to worry about it pinching your line. And I think you'll get more fish in the boat if you use this. Nothing's going to put a snag in this fishing trip, not with Delco Voyager batteries on board. Deep cycling to take charge after charge to keep everything humming. We may get skunked, but not marooned, not with these built-in charge indicators. Delco Voyager batteries, deep cycling, maintenance-free. I'd rather catch fish and get caught up a creek. For the AC Delco retailer nearest you, just give me a call at 1 800 AC Delco. Let me tell you, Ron Shuffield is one happy and richer Bassmaster. Next week, we'll be with the master of the Gitson, Dito Hibden of Missouri. When the bass are stubborn, the bite's slow, and conditions tough, Dito Hibden knows what to throw. And the catch is fantastic. And so is Dito's explanation of how to fish this unique bait. Don't miss it. For the Bassmasters, this is Ray Scott, and we'll see you next week. The Bassmasters has been brought to you by Evan Roo Motors, first in outboards. Ranger Boats, we still build them one at a time. Humminbird, the ultimate in fish finding technology. DuPont and Strand Premium Fishing Lines. Chevy Trucks, the heartbeat of America. Today's Chevy Trucks. Remington, makers of fine sporting goods. Zepco Quantum. The choice of serious fishermen. AC Delco Voyager batteries, deep cycling, maintenance free. And the Bass Angler Sportsman Society.